In 1989, 10-year-old Sean Smith accidentally shot and killed his eight-year-old sister, Erin, after the children found a hidden gun in their parents' drawer. We played that chilling 911 call on a show about gun control. It sent shivers down a lot of spines. Is Sean take a deep breath? Everyone's on their way. What happened? Um, I, I didn't know my dad. My dad's gun was loaded. And, okay. And I, and I shot her. Okay. I didn't mean to. She's dead. She's dead? Yes, please get my mom and dad. Oh, my God. That was 27 years ago. The tragedy was declared an accident, so no charges were ever filed. Sean has lived with the guilt and the pain of that day ever since. And now at 37, is just now starting to talk about it. I'll always remember that day like it was yesterday. The 911 call was difficult. It actually still is the only thing that really gets to me, especially hearing the absolute terror in, uh, in my voice. It's, it's, it is, it's, it's bone chilling. On the day of the accident, my parents were at work. I was grounded from my video games, and I knew where my parents had hid it. I looked in my father's top drawer, and uh, instead of the video games, unfortunately, I found uh, my dad's 38 uh, revolver. My sister went to run out of the room, and right at that time, the gun had uh, accidentally gone off. I had called 911 and I tried to give her mouth to mouth, but she wasn't really responding at all. I picked her up and sat her on my lap. The 911 operator stayed on with me until the first officer arrived. My mom and my dad went in to identify her, and that was when uh, they said she was, she was gone. The last picture I have is her dying on, on my lap. After the accident, I had a god-awful amount of guilt. My father had some guilt. It was definitely my mother that kept us together as a family. You know, during my teenage years, I kind of took on this persona of uh, someone very self-destructive, ended up dropping out of school, got arrested a couple times. The turning point of my life was definitely when my son Dylan was born. I completely quit drugs and alcohol. Today my son is 16. He's just an amazing kid and we have discussed guns. I wanted to make sure that he knew what had happened to an extent, but definitely taught him, uh, you know, what to, what to be careful of. There are bad days. Before, it would just turn me into just like this dark, depressed person. Thankfully, after a lot of soul searching and, you know, going to church and talking to a therapist, it, uh, it, it, it finally got to a point where I was able to, uh, to make peace and um, forgive myself. I was finally able to completely uh, realize that it, it, was, it was an accident. I can always feel my sister's spirit with me. The happiest memories I have with Aaron were family vacations we had. We would be inseparable. If you look at, you know, the countless pictures that we have, just smiling together. I mean, those are definitely the things I cherish the most. In memory of her, I, uh, I actually got her name uh, tattooed on my arm with a nice halo. And my son designed clouds and heavens around her name. We have a lot of uh, things to remember Erin by, uh, her baby shoes, ribbons that we had won, a couple of things that she made that are hanging up. If I was going to give anybody advice that's been through something as tragic as what I've been through, try not to be so hard on yourself. Focus on the positive. And I'm very grateful for where I am today. And uh, I realized that uh, by telling my story, I could maybe help somebody. And uh, if I could help one person out of this whole thing, that would be just a tremendous goal for me. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. 
Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.